Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is from paradise to Mount Sinai to Mount Zion. When have you read in the Bible was the time that God dwelt with men? The first time we see it in paradise, when he was walking in the garden together with Adam and Eve. The next time we see then God coming together with the world and with his chosen people at Mount Horeb or what other people call it Mount Sinai. But there will be another time when he will come. And this time he will come down with Mount Zion. He will come down and make his places above all the mountain, as is written in the book of Micah. And this is the time when we will stand as a multitude clothed in white, the base of Mount Zion, and where we will cry, Abba, Father, and Lord Jesus, and there we will be ruptured into paradise. We will be with our Abba, Father, with Lord Jehovah, and with Jesus Christ forever and ever. The next time when God will dwell with man is at the sixth seal, when he will come down. And the people in this world who are not followers of the past and who are not believing in him will hide in the mountains and will say, please mountains fall on us because who, will, who can stand when the wrath of the Lamb is coming? They will see him. They will see the one that is sitting on the throne what is the Abba Father and the Caesar lamp? What is Jesus Christ? And then the day of his wrath, of the wrath of the lamp will start, the trumpet period. But before that, he will seal the 144,000 to assist them in the trumpet period. And he will rupture the multitude clothed in white, the remnant church into paradise. And this will conclude the time of the Gentiles. And the trumpet period starts the time of the return to the Jews, to their period. And in the trumpet period, they will be cleaned and brought to the understanding of Jesus Christ. It is a great and an awful period. But we will be ruptured into paradise. So remember, God dwelt with man in paradise. And at Mount Zion, again, he will dwell with man in paradise. Because there we will be ruptured into paradise as a multitude clothed in white. Because we have cleaned our dirty garments through the blood of the Lamb that made them white as snow so that the cherubim at the entrance to paradise will step aside and will let us enter. But whoever has not cleaned his garment and, st stand on and will stand before the cherubim in dirty garment, he will be slain down. So start now, repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. There is not much time left. The bride will be taken soon, and then the sixth seal will happen thereafter. I know the exact time, but people will come against me if I say what time it will be when the rapture will take place. So I will keep quiet. But God in all his wisdom is showing the timing to his prophets and to the people who are watching. We don't know the exact day and the exact hour, but we know the year and the months. So let us come together in love, unity and support. Build your societies of the rose, your assemblies of love and righteousness in your neighborhood and walk the path in the great exodus towards Mount Zion. First, we start the great exodus spiritually by coming out of the world and out of Babylon and setting us apart 
as the two sons and daughters of the Most High. And then later when the angels come to collect us and bring us to Mount Zion, then there will be the physical great exodus from the world. Because the angels will collect the multitude closed and white from the four corners of the earth, ready for the mountain. And the mountain is ready and built. And there we will receive the mention that our Lord has promised us in John 14.2. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. From paradise to Mount Sinai to Mount Zion. Be part of it. Join us. Support this ministry. Help in our mission to Cambodia for the children and especially for baby Grace. The link is in the first pinned comment. Show forth your understanding and your faith and your gratitude towards our God and towards all of his creation and help us to lift up the needy, the poor, the children and the babies. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Amen and Marana.